Well, hello again, you guys. So I screwed up. You know, this is what happens when you let an old man do videos with technology he doesn't really understand. Um, I was fumbling around looking for this book, and uh, I don't know how to splice two videos together, so you just have to bear with me um, for the abrupt ending to... I'll label that part one, and then we'll call this part two, which is going to be very short. But uh, what I was going to say was if you are interested in understanding cichlid fish, primarily, especially Central American cichlid fish, um, this is the book you really need to get. It is, my, in my opinion, the best book ever published um, about cichlids, and it is done by George Barlow, who is one of the most outstanding ichthyologists uh, when re in regards to Central American cichlids that's pretty much ever ever lived. And um, this is the book uh, by George Barlow, and it is called The Cichlid Fishes, Nature's Grand Experiment in Evolution. And I highly recommend this book. I don't even know if it's still available. I think this was published in 2000, and uh, George has since passed away. Um, and this book... Uh, gives you tremendous insight into cichlid breeding, cichlid evolution, um, cichlid biology, chemistry. It's just fabulous. It's not a book about the aquarium hobby. It's more a book about how cichlids have evolved and why they act the way they act. And if you read this book, um, a lot of my philosophy on keeping fish is based on George's ideas and a lot of you know this book so i recommend it um and uh, anyway that was about it so once again sorry for the uh little interruption uh if i knew better how to put videos together i would have just sort of edited it and spliced it but um that's just not me <laughs> i'm lucky to be able to get a camera get this phone uh, and point it at the fish and yak so uh, hopefully uh, this works out for you guys. Um, let me know if you enjoy these kinds of videos where I spend more time talking about maybe the history of the hobby as opposed to the actual fish themselves. But uh, um, there's been some demand for this kind of thing. And I thought if I showed the uh, my new red dovies while we did this, it might be interesting. Anyway, take care. Uh, I will talk to you guys again.